Welcome to Startup Hack. Today we're going to talk about upgrading your .NET Core apps from 3.1 to .NET Core 6 or even .NET Core 7, but today we're going to show you .NET Core 6. So that's what we're going to dig into today, so let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Startup Hack. My name is Spencer Tomlinson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Clean Router, as well as many other products. Here are some lessons that I've learned building a successful business while challenging startup norms. My challenge is to push you to rethink startup success. Welcome to Startup Hack. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So today we're going to be talking about how to upgrade your .NET, 3 .1, uh, .NET Core 3.1 apps um, to .NET Core 6. So .NET Core 3.1 is end of support on December 13th, 2022. So that's coming right up here. So if your applications are on .NET Core 3.1, definitely recommend that you get moved to .NET Core 6. Uh, a couple of things about .NET, move to .NET Core 6. Um, from 3.1, uh, it's really actually pretty easy. You're going to find that these steps are really, really simple and that they're going to really not impact you a bunch. The other thing, too, is it really is worth the upgrade. Well, .NET Core 3.1 was definitely impressive, and especially over uh, you know full framework 4.8 applications. .NET Core 6 is blazing fast. It is unbelievably fast. And so I've been developing on .NET since 2003. And let me just tell you, .NET Core 6 is pretty much everything we always dreamed of with .NET Core being able to run on Linux, being open source. The documentation is absolutely unmatched. So definitely want to move up to .NET Core 6. It is awesome. So let's dig in here on how we're going to do it. So we're going to see the end of the release. Uh, happening in December, so we want to do this here soon, and I would just recommend doing it anyways. So, if your if your application uses .NET Core three one, strongly recommend that you go to .NET Core six. It's the long term support version, and so that's what you want to get to. Uh, you can just download it from the .NET website, which we'll put links to uh, in our you know in the descriptions. Now, in order to do it, all you have to do is open your project file, your CS project file. Um, in a file editor. So this is where you're going to not want to open it in Visual Studio or in Visual Studio, open it to text, right? You can do it either way. And then you're going to change the target framework from Net Core 3.1 to just Net 6.0. So this is the big change that you really want to make sure you do. Now, there is some compatibility guides and you can go through uh, what all of these are. For the most part, I didn't really run into any problems. Like, I haven't really had any problems with... Um, any of the applications, and I've probably upgraded a dozen different applications of ours from .NET Core 3.1 to 6. And so um, from my experience, this upgrade's been relatively painless. Um, the upgrade from .NET Core 2 to th uh, 3.1 uh, was a bit painful, was a little more painful. A lot of my startups broke and stuff. Everything here seemed to really uh, trans uh, move over really, really easy. Now, on the development environment, you also are going to want to make sure that you're updated to the latest. So you want to not only check for your standalone, so if you're doing a lot of command line stuff, if you're one of those hardcore guys, then you know, you're know you going to want to do some things. But then in Visual Studio itself, you want to make sure that, first of all, I would definitely recommend downloading Visual Studio 2022. Um, technically, uh, you know, so you, you definitely want to move to uh, Visual Studio 2022, which there's not really much reason not to anymore. I can't really think of a decent reason to stay on 2019. Um, and then make sure that you install the ASP.NET and web development pack. So really that's the two biggest steps that you're going to want to hit is if you've been developing on 3.1 and you're still on Visual Studio 2019, upgrade it to 2022, um, and then you know move your .NET framework from 3.1 to 6. Um, you're also then obviously going to need to make sure you have all the run times, you know, the .NET Core 6 run times, um, and then also the .NET Core uh, Framework 4.6 stuff for any backwards compatibility. Um, that really is it. You know, once you do these things, you're going to find that your application on the first compile really goes through. There is this compatibility check, and so you can kind of look at some of those uh, individual things. I think I ran into one or two of the things, but they were really simple right from the uh, beginning. Um, you know, some of I, I think I ran into this one a couple of times that some of my uh, from results did come back with a singleton, but like it, it's been pretty good. So I mean, I, I didn't, I haven't run into any issues. We didn't run into any really runtime bugs with it, and so I would definitely look. Uh, it recommend that you do the upgrade from .NET Core three one to .NET Core six and get this done as soon as possible, as I think it's gonna one improve the speed of your application, but two really prepare you for the future. Now, if uh, you're still looking to learn a lot more. 
We are starting the startup hack uh, coding the development boot camp. This is one of the best boot camps that you can get. Uh, first of all, it's one of the few that actually offers .NET Core um, in the instructions. I don't know of many others, and I can promise that it's much more uh, cost efficient uh, than any of the other .NET boot camps that, you, that are being offered. The other thing that we are the only one who offers one-on-one -on -one instruction. So you will be a guaranteed one-on-one -on -one instruction for at least an hour of every single day. It's actually a requirement of my instructors that they are working with you for one hour every day. I also oversee it, and you'll have direct access to me. So if you have any questions, you know, that you can always raise those up to me. But definitely, you know, if you're looking at a coding boot camp, if you feel like you just want to sharpen up your skills, we've got an awesome curriculum here. And I've been working hard to get this the curriculum recorded and choosing the curriculum out for you. So uh, lots of great coming here. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you run into any problems with upgrading from .NET 3.1 to 6. And we will catch you guys next time.